Come in. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Um, have a seat, please. Thank you. Uh, can I have a look at your IC card? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, your uh, first name is? No, so can I call you Norolina? Yes. Olina? Lina. Lina, okay. Thank you very much. That's your card. So, how are you today? Uh, I'm quite fine, thank you. How about you, sir? Uh, I'm fine, thanks. Uh, before we continue, I'd like to explain the uh, O-level oral exam to you. Um, okay, this is what it is. Um, uh, it's divided into three components, or three parts. The first part is when we have an informal uh, conversation, we call it a warm-up, okay? And you will not get a score for that. Um, I will speak to you for about one minute, and then after that, um, you will have one to two minutes to talk about a prepared uh, topic, um, which you have seen already, and so you can deliver that to me. Uh, uh, as a speech or prepared topic and the last part is when we have a discussion about the same topic uh, and that discussion will be about five to six minutes uh, I will give you a score for those sections so do you understand? Yes, I understand. Okay, Lena, very good so let's talk about uh, your hobbies when you go home, what kind of hobbies do you do? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of an indoor person, so I love books. I read books a lot. And about sports, uh, I'm not quite good in sports since I'm quite a nerd kind of person. And I'm a science student, so I have to get ready for my O level since it's getting near. It's almost a month. Right. Let's go back to hobbies. Uh, now you mentioned reading. Yes. Um, let me ask you about the best book you have ever read. The best, <laughs> most amazing book that you that you will never forget. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that? I've got this one favorite book of mine. It's called The Hash Hash. The author is Becca Fitzpatrick. I've got the full set of the book. Okay, what genre is it? It's about it's fiction. Uh, so is it like horror or um, detective or romance? It's or fantasy. Fantasy. Yes. Okay. And um, oh, why did why do you like that book? Why, why did why did you choose that? It's book? kind of attracted me since the. Since the role is kind of a student that get get involved into something unexpected, so it attracts me. Good. And um, have you read any other books by the same author? Yes. Okay. It's called The Silence. The Silence. Yes. Right. Where is the author from? From, I think it, she's from the California. From California. Yes. Okay, that's very good. So I'm glad to hear you enjoy reading. And uh, anyway, so that's the end of part one, uh, which was the informal talk. Um, now we are getting on to part two, and your topic is topic seven. And can you look at number one? So I will give you one to two minutes to prepare uh, a talk on. Uh, sports you enjoy playing or watching. So your topic is talk for one to two minutes about sports you enjoy playing or watching. Uh, you can make some notes and prepare for about two minutes. Okay, so now that we have uh, completed the notes. Uh, can you begin uh, talking about your topic and can you start now? Okay, about sports. As I said before, I'm 
looking at this what kind of person. But I do enjoy this one sport, it's badminton. I play a lot, but ever since 2015, I didn't, I didn't quite do sports since I have to do revisions a lot. And about watching, I don't watch TV a lot. And then about playing sports, I don't know sports a lot. All I know is about badminton, football, soccer, netball, basketball, golf, uh, and that's all. So, is that all? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So, that was your prepared speech on sports you enjoy playing or watching. Now, uh, let's get on to part three. Uh, if you look at your prompts, you can see three bullet points. So we are going to discuss the following three prompts. Um, and I may ask you some questions from here, or maybe I can also ask you my own questions about the same topic. So let's start with, uh, you mentioned sports just now, and you don't really play sports. What about in primary school? Uh, did you have to do or play any sports in primary school? No, we usually did our own work. Right. So I, I just watched my friends playing around in the playground and all. All I, all I did was sitting. Okay. Um, so what about with your family? Have you ever played, uh, for example, badminton with your friend, uh, with, your, with your family outside your house or around yes, your house? I've been playing badminton with my family. And I was quite good with them, but okay. I, I was I lost few with my friends. Okay, so you have actually tried badminton, yes. which is good. Okay, so let's think now about a sport um, which you have never tried. I think you have quite a few options yes. because you hardly play sports. So out of all those options that you've never tried, uh, can you give me one sport? and that you would like to try, something you've never ever tried before. I think it would be basketball. Okay. Basketball is kind of like that ball and in physical education, uh, my teacher taught me about that ball, just the basic skill about that ball. And when it comes to basketball, there are a few rules that we disobey in netball. Uh, in basketball, I was quite, they were running around in, in TV. I watched just like a brief one and I would like to try basketball. Okay, so that's very good. So you have one option in the future to try uh, to play basketball. Um, and it's a good thing you picked basketball because I would like to talk about team sports. Now you know basketball, obviously, uh, if you play basketball, you play in a team, right? Yeah. So let's talk about um, why a sport like basketball is maybe better, you know, more, uh, has, it has more advantages, maybe. Why does it, why could it have more advantages than playing an individual sport. Now, give me an example of an individual sport, just uh, so that you understand that. Golf. Okay. Good, very good. So golf you can play by yourself maybe. Yes. And uh, uh, so let's talk about that. What do you think? Is, um, uh, will a team sport be better uh, than an individual sport? Uh, give me your ideas on that. I think it's quite good to be in a team yes. rather than individual since in a team we can have a lot of friends a lot of companion when we're when we're having a hard ship like training we're, go we're going to go through a lot of stuff and we're going to face a lot of hardships so i think it's better when we have our friends at the side of us so that they can guide us like we're not, we're not alive. I will not be like, I'm alone, I'm going to give up. I, I, I wouldn't do that since my friends there. So you, you enjoy the support? Yes. Okay, that's, that's good enough. Thank you. And then, what about sport as a medium 
or a way, a method, you know, to build relationships between countries. Now, uh, for example, you know obviously about the Olympic Games, yeah. even the Sea Games in our area in Dubai, um, Southeast Asia. What about that? Could a sporting competition bring uh, countries together, countries that normally don't get along very well? Uh, what do you have to say about that? Uh, as you said, sir, uh, there have been sea games, Olympic, different countries, and I think it's going to bring good relationship between countries that don't get along. Can you give me some examples? Um, I think it's, I don't think I can give you an example, but if, I, if, I, I think if, for example, um, between China and Russia. If the if they got players that are very competitive with each other, then the the citizen will get interested since they who's the winner, who's the winner and they'll they'll they will definitely know Russia and Russia will know Chinese. Um, I want to ask you one last question, which is not here. Um, it's about it's about sport sponsorship and advertising and the money in sport. Now you know that um, you know the top players. Are, um, so, do you think uh, a pro sportsman like Tiger Woods, uh, who is worth over one billion dollars, that's a lot of money, right? Yeah. So, do you think he deserves? People like that deserve the high salary they get? Well, I think one minute is too much for a sport kind of job yeah. since a lot, a lot of people were trying to find that amount of money yeah. but if the company gives salary to that kind of to Tiger Woods because of his skills so I think that's I think he deserves it it's worth it. Okay. okay, that's what you're saying is because of his uh, high skills and he's the top player in the world, so he deserves it. Okay, that's uh, fair enough. Um, I think that's about all for today, Lina. Thank you very much for coming in. And um, um, don't forget to take your IC card. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, sir. Goodbye.